What's up, guys and gals, and welcome back to the Nerd Castle for another episode of Rebel Cops. My name is Splattercat. Very happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while, and we're going to attempt to take out some of these guards. I don't know, like, where they're going to be at. I'm going to move him over there. And then you come over right. here, maybe. We've got limited turns to get this done in. I don't particularly like that mechanic. Uh, I wish that we had a little bit more time to play with, in all honesty. Uh, you get in between the signboards right there. And I think that's about it for us. On this side... Uh, what do you have? You have a baton? Roger. Alright, move up on this dude. And you are going to baton him. Bap! Your cops earn experience points for most successful actions. Arresting criminals, rescuing hostages, firing true, picking windows and doors, healing colleagues, and much more. Okay. Got it. I don't move. Oh. Well, apparently he saved me from myself. I can't order him hands up, huh? Kind of wanted to. I could shoot his ass, though. It's an option. Right away. All right, I'm going to go right here. Has everybody else moved? Everybody's good? All right, we're going to end our turn. The suspects are going to move now. He's ticking downwards, so we should get an easy arrest right there. All right, even in partial cover, cops will be concealed from criminals, but they will be spotted moving from cover to cover or from an uncovered side. Okay. I got to figure out how I'm going to take this guy right here. What do you have? You got a knife and a baton and some other stuff. I wonder if this guy's going to turn around. I wish I knew what their patrol pattern was. I'd feel better if I did. Let's start with the easy peasy stuff over here. So we want to arrest this guy. Okay. He's now arrested. You get rebel points for arresting criminals. They're a special currency you can spend in the command center. Unspent rebel points will be saved for later missions. Go to the command center to see your available options. Right, increase the accuracy of all cops for the current turn. Overwatch. Shadow. Invisible and silent for the rest of the round. Hey, nice. I wish there was some cover I could take right here. Unfortunately, not. Now, I'm going to stick his hands up. I don't want to kill this guy. Like, I'd really prefer not to. The mission told us not to kill him. So I take both my action points to do that. All right. You fall back behind cover, then. We'll wait till he gets a little closer. Roger. You move up by one. All right. You guys... Go ahead and move up the best you can. Is the fence down right there? I don't think the fence is down right there. I don't think we can actually make it through there. All right, you guys move up, get in cover. This guy isn't moving. So I'm wondering if I can sneak up on his ass. Like, he hasn't moved at all. I'm going to take a chance here. So he's still going out that way. That's good. That means I can ambush him in just a minute. Oh, that guy's going that way. Oh. Okay, didn't really expect that. I can take Jam Jarmouche Raspberry Jam. Why not? Did that cost me an action point? It did not, so that's good. Uh, I can get these guys in, maybe... All these windows look like they're barred. There's an open door right there, though. I don't think I can get that guy into there without being seen. I'd be really surprised if we didn't get seen. So there is a hole in the fence. 
All right. Well, make your move. I am really curious if I can be right there without being seen. I wish I knew what their line of sight was. I really sincerely do. I wonder if I can... Could I do that on the diagonal? I don't remember. We're about to find out, I guess. We can do it on the diagonal. Alright, so that guy just got busted in the head with a stick. You go get in cover. What is that? Chateau Proust wine. All right, take it. Maybe we can sell it for a little bit of money. I bet we'll use that for bartering or something. We'll get the arrest over here like next turn. Yeah, you get around the back of the building. We got to move over here. We don't have a choice. We got to move. I don't know if he'll see that. Well, hello there. Didn't see it, so we're all right. I should have stopped like right there and got the arrest. I didn't realize. I keep forgetting I can do stuff on diagonals. So that dude's carrying on over here. We got 13 turns left. Okay. I'm trying to move quickly out here, but Look over there. Look at that. Look at that face. I'm trying to move fast, but these guards are just in like the perfect position to mess with my day. Uh, you come over here and get the arrest. Okay, arrest is done. My question is, where is he going to move to? Okay. All right, we'll get in right there. We'll be in concealment for a minute. Right away. You come around the backside over here. I assume that the thing that we need to deactivate is inside this big building right here. And that'll stop the train right there, and that's when the gunfight's going to kick off and things are going to get a little rowdy. Okay. Alright. Bust him over the head. There we go. A little bit more XP. Uh, you set up on that door right there. We're going to grab... Oh. Okay. Well, there's two guys in there. We're going to have to figure out how to deal with that situation. Normally, I would say flashbang, but... Ugh. He moved. Stop doing that. Definitely staying in motion. Can you get there? You can't get there. You got it. I see someone. Well, Scheiser. You got it. That's not good. Well, yeah, move over and assist them. This guy will hold the flank right here, and then these three will be like my main operational team. I'm going to wait right here because I don't know what this guy's going to do. When he comes back this way, we'll take this guy out, and then hopefully when he sweeps back this way, we'll take basically uh, Bolka is going to be getting a lot of playtime today. Uh, go ahead and make the arrest. I 
Mm, we can order him hands up. Kind of depends what that guy. It kind of depends what that guy's gonna do, though. This is taking longer than I'd like it to take. Like we're on limited turns right now, which is the part that worries me. Like I don't like being on a time limit. Being on a time limit is always a problem. Okay, so this is workable. This is workable. Right away. <laughs> Roger. Go ahead and smack him. Got it. Uh, you don't have a. Oh, no. Didn't work. All right. That's fine. That's all good. We'll whack him with a nightstick then. Being able to make diagonal plays is really, really useful. I need to keep better track of where my stun gun guy is, too. Right away. All right. You to there. Don't move. Didn't work. Damn. Right uh, too many people that don't have nightsticks. We gotta get more nightsticks. I, I definitely think we need to get. If there's a nightstick, is there a day stick? I assume there's a day stick. Like it's got to exist, right? Okay. All right, you come over here because we're gonna have to time this right to get this guy when he comes back. I can't guarantee that it's gonna work, but we're gonna try. Uh, we'll take who we can take. After we arrest him, I'll have these two guys set up on this corner for when he comes back, and then we'll try to basically handle the issue. We'll do. Hmm. I may have screwed up. Hopefully he doesn't radio that in. If he radios that in, we got problems. Uh, you make the arrest. Make the arrest. Sure, I'm, I'm like it's hard for me to do commentary when I play a game like this because when I'm doing commentary, it does like represent a significant proportion of like brain drain. Like if you're focusing on monologuing and like talking, it can be very very hard to focus on also coming up with like a good strategy, uh, which is what I'm trying to do right now. All right, so we know that guy's gonna be coming back soon. I'm the one with the stun gun. How far does the stun gun shoot? Let's see here. Effective at short and medium range. I don't know if the stun gun will hit from right there. Like, what do you think the difference is between short and medium range? Like, I'd like to be able to stun gun this guy before this stuff goes any crazier, but... Right away. Freeze. That didn't work. Okay. Hopefully I can fire the stun gun from here. If I can't, we got problems. There we go. Stun gun him. Perfect. Perfect sweep. Couldn't have asked for a better play. All right. Come down this way. He's going to turn around and come back, but he's not going to see us for a minute. Uh, inside of here. Get the arrest. Okay. The arrest is good. Understood. Come over here, and whatever that box is right there, I want it. Let me get that box. Oh, that's the arcade game. Okay, good. I can throw a clip to a partner. Oh, that's really cool. I've never seen a game where you can throw a magazine to each other, like mid-combat, sort of like operator style. That's pretty sweet. I'm a cap. A rebel cap. I thought you were a cab. All right. 
Uh, we can end the turn, I guess. There's not a whole lot of stuff I'm still trying to get done. That stun gun got the work done, though, didn't it? That stun gun took care of business. Note to self, don't get stun gunned. We have nine turns to get to there. I'm okay with that. I think that's entirely manageable. Roger. You come get the arrest since you're the furthest away from the objective. You're under arrest. Perfect. Does he have a nightstick? Please tell me he has a nightstick. All right, if he's got a nightstick, we're good. If he does not have a nightstick, we Done have problems. Enough. You get back up in there. I need to check that room and see if there's anybody inside of there. You got it. Basically, I need a couple people infiltrating the building while we wait for this guy to get dealt with. I would just keep waiting right there, in all honesty. I think he's going to walk right up to you, and then it's going to be easy peasy. Affirmative. Oh, it only needs to go to there? Oh, that's done super close. I don't even care about that. All right. Go for it. You, you only have a knife, though. That could be a problem. You, bet. you moved right there for right now. Well, actually, we already got the... There's a bunch of stuff inside of there. I kind of want to loot it all. Like, I don't know what our time's looking like. Only the first objective has the automatic brakes. So the rest of it, I think we should have enough time to basically do whatever we want, I think. We'll see what happens with it, but I'd like to loot the entire map because my guess is, like, all these wines and, like, whiskeys and things that we're finding, we're going to be able to sell those to the vendors so that we can make some extra money so we can buy more equipment. And frankly, I'm noticing some things like everybody needs a nightstick or a, everybody needs a nightstick or a taser. That's just like facts. If they don't have nightsticks or a taser, they're not quite useful to me. Because like you're not going to be in a shootout for most of the game. And so while it's good to have like killers and people that carry heat at the same time. You got a nightstick? Come back over here. Yeah, go ahead and move up on him and get rid of him. This is where we get sketchy. Okay, so we got an open door right there. I'm going to move on the room. Oh, there's a dude right there? All right, stop. How come that guy wasn't revealed? I feel like he should have been revealed. And nobody has a nightstick, huh? Luff. I'm trying to kill anybody right now, but like. You bet. There's a decent possibility it might happen. Okay. You come over here and get the arrest, so next turn he doesn't have to waste a turn. There you go. Good. Oh, it's because you actually have to... So even though we had line of sight right there, you've got to be on the doorway to the room to reveal the room. Okay. Makes sense. Really wish I hadn't had to use my nightstick. Or I'm sorry, to use my taser to pull off that save. It's put me in a very awkward okay. position. Affirmative. Wait, what was that? Shouldn't he be dropping off the package? I feel like he definitely should be. Done and done. Come back over here. He'll deal with the garden a minute, and he'll try to get all the loot in there. Uh, we don't have anything we can do right there, so we're just going to have to wait that out. I'm trying to get Nightstick Guy back up to speed. Oh, he moved. Well. You're under arrest. Hopefully he don't see this takedown. You bet. That's as far as you can get, huh? The real play is... Like, here's the really, really risky play. Do I push him into the room 
and just like hope that there's no bad guys. You know what I mean? Like maybe if I can get him into position right there, he can order the bad guy down from adjacency with his gun. Possibly. He might be able to do it from here. Pretty good chance. I'd rather set up so that I have a contingency before I do that though. I'm not a fan of doing things that don't have a backup plan. I've played enough XCOM to know that when you do things without a backup plan, bad stuff happens. There you go. Now you get back in here. We pulled off that objective. He's going to deal with that guy. He's going to loot this building. We're going to give her the opportunity to kind of just like come back over this way and do what she does. He's in concealment, so he should be okay. All right, so after a little bit of finagling, sorry, I like screwed up and I moved to a spot that I didn't want to move to and it left me like exposed. And so I had to redo the entire mission. Like I moved to a spot that just, it screwed everything up and it was embarrassing and I didn't mean to, right away. but it was a thing that happened. So like we're more or less back in the position where we were before. There's the arcade game. We'll go ahead and chuck that back on the truck. I am getting a feel for, like, the flow of gameplay, though, which is really, really good. Like, it, it's not a, a tough game to pick up, but it is a game that, like, requires a little bit of, like, understanding of what's going on. Really, that person has a mystery. Why does that person... Interesting. I don't know why that guy's suspicious right now. I have no clue why that guy's suspicious. Why is he suspicious? I'm going to go for it. Hopefully he doesn't hear me. Oh, another one right there, too. Oh, this guy's suspicious, too. Man, everybody's suspicious out here. And just smack that dude in his domer. And then we'll just take him down real quick. There we go. Perfect. Dunsies. Yeah, go ahead and reveal that room for me, would you? Right away. You go ahead and get concealed right there. We'll order him down in just a second. Uh, you've got the thingy. You bet. So I need you to be back over here with the mystical thingy. I know we already dropped that off, but like I messed up. I mean, you picked the lock. Right I figured this was probably going to be a lock pick area. There you go, 15 XP right there. Done and done. What is this? Just like a newspaper article? I think we should make it. I think we're in good shape. The only thing that worries me is how many guys I have out of position right now. Like, if I had less guys out of position, I would feel better about my situation, but... All right, you go over there. He's gonna be aware of you. Smack him in the face with a blunt object until he's no longer a problem. Huh. None of you idiots have a nightstick, huh? All right. He can almost get there. He can get close, but no cigar. Horseshoes and hand grenades, this is not. So what is that right there? It's a note. Noah, I know how tough it is to stand duty at the train station ticket office, but we all have to pull together now. We should have known this would happen if Mrs. Spurlock died. Nobody wants to sit still at night for pennies. I hit a flask for you in there. No man should have to do woman's work sober, right? Yikes. Okay. So apparently there's a silver done flask around somewhere. Got some. Sister Lock smoked gotcha. cheese. Who doesn't like smoked cheese in the middle of an operation? Yeah, go ahead and put that thing down. And then I'd like for you to work your way back across this way if you can for me, please. Alright, so none of these guys really have options right now. We're just going to have to wait and see what happens. If he turns around, eh, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Oh, no, never mind. We're good. Uh, you get the arrest over here. I can attempt to get him downed. Let me make sure I can move these guys through each other first. Okay, I can. Roger. So this should be another easy peasy arrest. You got it. Smack. You got it. Get the arrest. Nice little tag team action right there. Definitely take that. Roger. 
You get up to the corner right there. Enemy spotted. There's two of them. I think we might have to flashbang them. You got it. It seems possible to me that flashbangs may have to be deployed here. That's a lot of money, though. I don't like using flashbangs if I can help it. They're expensive. They cost so much monies. Ice pick lodge alarm clock. All right, well, this is a really good spot to save because my name is Splattercat, and we are, like, halfway through this mission. Sorry about the reload. Like, I'm not, like, Iron Manning this thing right now. If you want to know what I did wrong, I moved down to here, and there was a dude, like, right here that you can't see because apparently her eyeballs don't work, and she can't see down an empty street. And so, anyways, I came to here, and there's a guy standing right here, and... Basically, he sounded the alarm. Everybody got gunned down in like one turn, and it was just like, ugh. This game falls apart fast, man. Real fast. This game is called Rebel Cops. If you wanted to get it for yourself, you can look down below in the description. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for stopping on in. Hi, do, and take care, everybody.